Despite his love for cars and the art of tuning, Akshay's journey was not always smooth. In the early days, he faced a lot of criticism and rejection, but instead of giving up, he used it as fuel to learn and educate himself. Through countless hours of hard work and dedication, he owned his craft and became a master tuner, capable of making almost any car go faster and perform better. His passion for cars and the thrill of speed is infectious, and it's evident in the work he does. He has the ability to take an ordinary car and turn it into an extremely powerful machine, one that makes you want to slam through the gears and feel the forces pump your heart. Akshay's story is a testament to the fact that with hard work, dedication and a love for what you do, success is possible. It's a reminder that no matter how many roadblocks we face, we can always find a way to overcome them. He's an extremely learned and a self-made man and I'm glad to know him as a friend. Introducing Akshay Titus. What's up? What's up? Good road. Congratulations on your new YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just a little sure about it. And okay. uh, just to give you a general sense, we are going to be having a conversation about more on the lines of your passion. Okay. About how the whole GT tuners thing came into being. Okay. So let's start. How? Where did it all start? So started off at a very young age only, not GT tuners, but the fact that I knew I wanted to do something, you know, in an industrial environment or, you know, something with production or with machines or cars, mm -hmm. etc. Right. So it started off from there. And then as I grew older, you know, of course, I got fascinated by cars. Mm -hmm. And this time when I say I, as I grew older, I'm talking about, you know, 13, 14. Mm -hmm. So at the age of 13 i taught myself how to drive so we had gone on a road trip and just by observing the person who was driving i taught myself how to drive mm -hmm. and then in the evenings or at night i would quietly add a ford icon at the time okay. right um, i would quietly you know take it out we are talking about what the year 2001 2002 okay right so i would quietly take it out at night take it around the park next to my house uh -huh. um come back park it Right, because we were doing stuff like you know, chukke gadi chala rahe the. So of course, you know, chalk line se marked where the car is parked, etc. Uh -huh. Thinking you know, as if anyone in the house will know ki gadi ek inch aage hai ya piche hai. Uh -huh. So that's where you know my passion for cars started out. Uh -huh. Right, and I went to college. I did a degree in mechanical and automation engineering. Okay. Right. And where, where, where in Canada, right? I, so in Canada, I did a bachelor's of applied sciences, and then over here, I did a bachelor's in um, auto mechanical and automation engineering. Okay. okay. Right. So after my um, degree, I was like, "Kya karna hai?" So I, during that only, I had met another guy in college. Um, his name is Vinay. Ah, I remember. Yes, yes. Vinay Garg. Yes. Right. Okay. So I had met him. He used to have a Swift at that time. I also, I for the first few months of college, I had a Swift. Uh -huh. Right. So, and you know, I don't want to say one bigger way, but we were amongst the you know twenty odd students who would drive a car uh -huh. to college. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So he and I both had a Swift, and we you know became friends because he he had something done on his car, I had something done on my car, etc. Uh -huh. And that's how Vinay and I became friends. Uh -huh. And we would you know, um, Vinay wasn't fond of car audio, so before I got into the tuning and performance side of it, mm -hmm. I was actually more interested in car audio. Okay, okay. Right. So Vinay was also Vinay was very fascinated that you know there's anything beyond something like a Sony speaker or JBL etc. Uh -huh. Right from <laughs> Karol Bagh. Uh -huh. So he and I would sit online, you know, all night look for parts etc. to import from the US etc. Uh -huh. And you know then we made we made basically large audio setups in our cars. Right. right, right. right. So I'm again I'm talking about this is 2010 11 ish. So right over a decade ago, uh -huh. Uh -huh. at that time we had, you know, we decided how car audio kar rahe hum, you know, for our shop play kar rahe, etc. Uh -huh. um, the problem was we were both not broke, but had a limited budget to do things with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where some ingenuity had to be put in. Like, you know, we couldn't afford uh, at that time, you know, one of the kings of head units used to be the Pioneer uh -huh. 80 PRS or P80 RS, I forget, one of the two. Mm -hmm. With a usme ferric like the KOS, just map USB drive, laga sakte the, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. Right today, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, and all seems so you know, yeah. it, it seems ki ha, wo to hota hi hai. Pele nahi hota tha. Right? Especially in a Swift or in a Safari, right? 
सो वी स्टार्टेड विद दैट सो बिकॉज वी वर ऑन शू स्ट्रिंग बजट हमारे को ब्रिलियंट आइडिया है कि गाड़ी के अंदर ना कंप्यूटर डालते हैं ओके क्योंकि प्रोसेसर वो हेड यूनिट तो इतना सा रहता है उसके अंदर प्रोसेसर कितना ही बड़ा होगा कंप्यूटर तो इतना बड़ा होता है so we put an inverter inside the car and put a desktop pc in the back okay. i still remember in fact i still have that sound card we had a, um i forget asus zonar 5.1 sound card uh-huh. and we and we were running full five way active with time alignment time delay frequency response you know we measured the car ka frequency response tweaked all of that uh-huh. and built an audio system basically the computer was working like an equalizer if i mean mm, more than an equalizer it was working like a process it was working as a dsp digital signal processor wo kya kar raha tha jaise apan right mein baithe hue hain gaadi ke right we are sitting in the front right rear speaker se sound aane mein zyada der lagti hai front right yahi pe hai so it would delay the front right ki abhi tu ruk jab ye kaan ke paas pahunchne wala hoga tab tu aa so it felt so if you closed your eyes it felt like you know which ever singer you were listening to wo aapke samne hi baith ke baja raha hai so today i remember i mean abhi uh, i was just uh, installing uh, one of the sound systems ghar pe to usme there was this feature wherein when you're starting the system correct uh, they have to cal- you have to calibrate it correct that's for the room so there will be a exactly. mic it calibrates for the room because you know different rooms and all depending on the size depending on the hardness of the so surface something what you did back then in the car रूम प्लेस पे होता है कि डिपेंडिंग ऑन द साइज ऑफ द रूम कितने पेंटिंग लगी है कितने सॉफ्ट सर्फेस है द साउंड बाउंस ऑफ द वॉल्स डिफरेंटली दे वॉन्ट की वेर यू आर लिस्निंग द फ्रीक्वेंसी रिस्पॉन्स शुड भी करेक्ट अगर एक फोर्टी हर्ट्स की टोन आनी है वो चाहे दीवार पे बाउंस हो इस पे जाए आपके कान के पास में वो फोर्टी सुननी चाहिए राइट सो दिस इज वॉट वी डन देन आफ्टर दैट वी डिसाइडेड की अब ना गाड़ी को तेज करते हैं सो ही आर डिफ्ट आई हर डफारी of course i'm not going to take names of any of the companies uh-huh. right but the swift ecu we sent to a, a very famous company at the time uh-huh. right for a tune okay um for my safari they said no they can't do it uh-huh. so again we had gone to a place in delhi where they sold us you know a tuning box for the car okay um that was actually the pivoting point where when i and i decided ki ab you know we are not going to डू ऑल ऑफ दिस विद दी अदर पीपल वी डू इट आर सेल्स स्विफ्ट के साथ क्या हुआ दैट ईसी विच वॉज सपोज टू बी सेवेंटी टू आवर टर्न अराउंड केम बैक आफ्टर फोर्टी फाइव डेज राइट ऑन द सफारी वेन एवर वी वुड पुट ऑलमोस्ट गेव ऑफ द ब्रांड बिकॉज आई वॉज टेल हाउ इट वॉज डन बट वेन एवर वी प्रेस द बटन ऑन द रिमोट टू मेक इट गोन टू अ पावरफुल मोड द कार वुड इंस्टेंटली गोन टू लिम्प right okay. so uh, we went back and forth with the person we bought it from the person who sold it said ki dekho main to kuch nahi kar sakta main to sirf becha hai this company ne banaya we will talk to them okay they said adjust this etc there were potentiometers on the box okay. they adjusted that and the car stop about that that standard tuning box ha wo jo rail pressure box wo rail pressure box jo rehta hai and fooling the ecu correct so it go connects onto the rail pressure sensor if the engine is commanded 1600 bar the pump has delivered 1600 bar the sensor has read 1600 bar but we issue over there ji bhai sahab 1600 nahi aaya 1500 aaya 50 aur bhej do exactly that's how a tuning box essentially works it's so it's not is, so the, uh, the the problem is this is the brilliance about marketing for you know someone who yes. might be as informed a tuning box is not a tuning box it is not tuning anything it is a, a better word would be a decalibration box okay. so it is decalibrating your issue right, right. Right. Anyway, so we had that. They adjusted the pots, etc. Car stopped going into limp, mm-hmm. but had no power. No difference at all. Almost no difference at all. Okay. Of course, the dyno dyno nahi tha, jispe hum test kar sakte the. But you know, wo ek but dyno sabke paas hota hai. But dyno said no change. So again, we went back and forth, but. ठीक है. You know, we said okay, that is money lost. No mm-hmm. problem. Mm-hmm. Then we decided ki yar. there is very few people in delhi that are doing it so we went to another company okay right um at that time vinay ki swift ka issue wapas aa gaya tha okay wo dusri company se uh-huh. from out of town and that car was running very well okay right so for my safari we went to another company okay. right that company had a bunch of you know at that time again i'm not going to take names of clubs you know i'm not pointing fingers but um that company had a huge car club etc etc i went with my car with the safari and i was pretty much laughed out of there okay. ki isko kyu aap tune kar rahe ho ye to you know this is not a car worth tuning exactly right so right. that that pinched me ki aisa kyu hai ki kisi ke paas agar 
वैग कार है या स्पोर्ट्स कार है या बी एमडब्ल्यू है सिर्फ वो क्यों ट्यून हुए राइट एंड कार इंथ्यूजियाज इज नॉट डिफाइंड बाय द बैंक बैलेंस दैट दे हैव राइट और द व्हीकल दैट दे माइट हैव टू ड्राइव बिकॉज़ ऑफ डिफरेंट रीजंस यू नो राइट कि हो सकता है किसी को दे हैव टू हैव एन एसयूवी बिकॉज़ they travel on bad roads so someone has to have an suv because they have a children they have a child that they need to put on a car seat so that you know really pinched me so then i started doing some research in the meanwhile this company that we were very pissed off with ki aapne 45 days le liye ecu return karne mein they were coming to delhi so we contacted them ki ab to jab hamare sheher mein hai tab to 45 din nahi lenge so we contacted them for a tune for the safari okay so they had offered us ki you know why don't you become our dealers mm-hmm. in delhi okay so when and i you know discussed it we thought sort you know ki kitne paise lagenge etc etc at that time again think we are going back to 2012 to uh-huh. college students uh-huh. right uh-huh. and there's something about money you know in the last 4 5 years money ki value khatam ho gayi hai mm. at that time in 2012 we were told it will cost some 6 lakh rupees to get started off with some basic equipment okay right okay. yes for tuning for some basic tuning equipment slave equipment basically we were not doing any we weren't doing we weren't doing the tuning okay. this company were going to be doing the tuning we would be installing the tunes and cars okay okay understood so they said you know some 6 odd lakh rupees it will cost yeah. and you know we went over it for days and weeks yeah. ki how do we come up with the money ghar pe kya bole ki gaadi tune karni hai wo bolenge yeah. kyu karne hai yeah. right zyada paise kare kyu karne hai right anyways so we we scraped together the money took money from the house hmm. i don't even remember maine ghar pe kya patti padhai thi vinay ne kya padhai thi hum dono ne patti hi padhai thi lekin ki hame ye paise de do hum business chalu karenge ye we will understand all this nobody now maybe still you know because now so social media the beauty about social media is that even if you don't want news and information aap baithe raho aapko mil jati hai again you know to, we are talking a decade ago there was no instagram hmm. राइट देर वॉज नो इंस्टाग्राम देर वॉज नो टिकटॉक फेसबुक पे कुछ लोग होते थे एंड नो बडी वो डैट देरेंट्स की वो क्यों देख ले मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ राइट सो ऑल दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन वॉज इन देर राइट सो एनी वेज वी स्क्रेप टू गैदर द मनी वी गॉट द इक्विपमेंट फॉर द फर्स्ट कपल ऑफ यू नो मंथ थिंग्स वेंट ब्यूटिफुली राइट दैट्स वेन एक्चुअली यू एन आई मेट वेन वी स्टार्टेड ट्यूनिंग ऑल द महिंद्रा थार्स एक्सेट्रा right so this company had provided us with products etc we were their dealer or distributor in delhi uh-huh. that this relationship worked very well for about a year or so uh-huh. year or two years in fact uh-huh. eventually we you know started as we started learning more uh-huh. we started asking questions uh-huh. ki why can this happen why can this not happen uh-huh. right kyunki i didn't want to be someone you know who for a living just presses install button uh-huh. right mm. we were both engineers we were just yeah. both just finished college till we were in college we didn't pay much attention right. you know for a sort of we were tuning a car we are getting you know 20% margin yeah. amazing pocket money because yeah. capital in capital to humne parents se le liya tha right anyways once we started asking questions that's when that relationship started souring a little mm. because other company was an as forthcoming or didn't want to either they didn't want to teach or they had something to hide whatever but that yeah. relationship started souring a little mm-hmm. right so i said that time when i decided ki this comp- this is where we are going to end with this company yeah. right and we decided to end our relationship with them okay, okay. right we thought ki chalo ab we will go to a different company now coming to the slave tools that i spoke about the 6 lakh rupee tools that we had bought uh-huh. this company held that equipment hostage for us okay Okay. Right. So this was just when GT tuners was getting made. Yeah. Right. So imagine new business. You have bought new business ka equipment and somebody says, "No, we will not use it." Yeah. Anyways, we went through some legal stuff, etc., etc. Mm-hmm. Um, in the meanwhile, I was in the UK and I had met a comp- I had met some people from this company called Quantum Tuning. Yes, I was right. about to ask you about that. Like, how and when did Quantum? Uh, you guys got in touch with each other. Quantum. Tuning. So we got in touch like this. So I got married in 2016. Right. 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 When I got married, uh-huh. I didn't have a job. Okay. Okay. This fallout had just happened with that company. We started in 2012. Two, three right. years later, this fallout had happened. Right. right. I was getting married in, you know, March of 2016. Uh-huh. November, December of 2015, this fallout had happened. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. 
सो आई वॉज विद दीपिका एंड यू नो आई वॉज डिस्कसिंग की क्या करना है एसेट्रा शी आई डेंट टोल्ड घर पे की यू नो अक्षय कंपनी शट डाउन आई आई डेंट टोल्ड घर पे की यू नो दिस इज एपन की जो शादी तो कर ही लेते पहले फिर बता देंगे राइट एनी वे सो वी एड आई कॉन्टेक्टेड क्वांटम ट्यूनिंग सो आई आई एड स्पोकन टू दिस गाय कॉल टेम ओवर द राइट एंड आई एड एक्सप्लेन माई सिचुएशन की यू नो um so the quantum has a process i'll show you the service we do they do you know only accredited tuners okay. so nobody can just buy an equipment and become ke ji mai aaj tuner ban gaya you have to you have to study you have to pass an exam etc etc so i had spoken to tim right at quantum and he was gracious enough to allow me ki okay you can start right now because i showed him you know that i showed him tab like i said instagram page wagera nahi hota tha i showed him my facebook page you know we are working on this car we are working on this car we are working on this car right so he says okay i can see you have the base knowledge and he knew that you had that education background correct also. exactly yeah. my of course the degree also yeah. helped yeah. but he said you have this base knowledge we will allow you to yeah. start off yeah. on the condition that you know you come and do your accreditation yeah, sooner yeah. rather than later yeah. so i forget now was it 2016 ka summer or 2017 ka summer i went to the uk to quantum head quarters mm-hmm. and did my training with them etc etc i still remember you carrying around that kesk ka toolkit with you that Correct. was after that nahi so the kesk so the old alien tech kesk and ktag was the toolkit we got from the first company okay okay okay, okay. Okay. finally um so because quantum tuning is such a large company they okay. were able to get the tools transferred to them okay. so i was able to use them okay. and that started out you know a brilliant journey we yeah. went from you know with the previous company we were doing about 10 cars a year okay right um quantum tuning was is a massive company but okay. they are massive in europe okay um in india they had only one dealer prior and that person was doing 5 10 cars a year yeah. um we started out with quantum in our first year we did some 30 30 35 cars and we were like you know wow yeah. you know 30 cars in a year right and slowly you know with all of their help support etc numbers started growing the brilliant thing about them is they have you know a great technical department every single person over there who is employed is only employed because they love what they do and they were you know very transparent very happy to share information mm-hmm. if they can't do something they straight up say no we don't do it we don't offer it sorry um mm-hmm. you can get a solution elsewhere mm-hmm. or just say you can't do it mm-hmm. right so we started this relationship with them um we went from 30 yeah. cars in the first year to our highest number with them being over 300 cars in a year okay right okay and that's today you are saying no so that's a few years ago okay right today we are doing close to 800 cars a year wow right Fantastic. with through us through our dealer network but before we get there so you know this grew etc then we ran into the problem that at this point when we were doing you know 100 150 cars a year i was still operating from my house right ah uh, i remember yeah 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 from your uh, that that room which you correct. had correct my my uh, my study i had converted uh, into my office right right, right. right. so then we dis- said said okay now we need a space to work in etc so we you know partnered up with someone got a space hmm. i used to do a lot of traveling at that time um you know six months out i could tell you ki this 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 weekend i am in this city this city this city running tuning camps so okay. start me it was pretty difficult Right, you were going alone with the toolkit. Yes, I was going alone. I okay. had, in fact, I'll show you my suitcase. I still that suitcase because I started my business off from that. Okay. That suitcase still remains in this office. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, I would fly every weekend, etc., uh-huh. to different cities to try to do some dealer development, uh-huh. and you know, just get vehicles tuned because it wasn't as easy then because social media still hadn't reached exactly. like um Instagram and all have just come on the scene and you know. 2018 2019 i would say in fact after uh, yeah, cold is when you know everybody just started sitting and going click click uh, click right, click right, right, right so up right, until right. then it was a lot of you know face to face or on the phone etc uh, right, right 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 so 2016 only again right after i got married um we had decided ki now okay now we need a location so we got on a small location first hmm. right then 2018 is where we started off here in getorni yeah. okay. right 2018 we decided said ki chalo we are doing tuning but i want to do something else also okay. so initially we didn't start off with mechanical work uh-huh. initially we started a body shop oh right okay again body shop kyun chalu hua kyunki uh-huh. i had a corolla altis uh-huh. wo maine kahin paint le diya tha and the paint wasn't done well uh-huh. 
Uh, right. Car, yeah, my car, sister's car. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, she had banged it and gone to Toyota. They didn't do a good job. I was like, "Hey, she's a little bit." Right. So there was there was a whole pattern here. Whenever someone else fails me, I'm like, "Okay, now we want to start doing this ourselves." Right. So we go to paint booth, hired people. Um, one of my friends, um, their workshop was shutting, so we hired their entire staff. Okay. okay. Right. Um, we hired the staff. So luckily, on day one, I had oh. you know people who were trained and much more knowledgeable than me. Okay. Starting on day one. Okay. Right. So we started off with that project. We painted my car, and you know, came out beautiful. Then I met another friend. Um, you'll know Harman. Harman. Uh, Harman from Upshift. Know. Upshift. Okay. 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 Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how Harman and I also met. Harman had a white E four hundred Cabriolet. And he wanted to make it black, and he's seen uh, the paint on my car, and he asked, "Apne kahan se karwaya?" Uh, I said, "Ni, humne khud kiya hai." So okay. that's he, how he and I got connected. That's how Upshift got to start. Yes, yes. Okay. So eventually, so eventually, I wanted to, even though I love the body shop, I still, you know, pop over there uninvited all the time. But okay. I wanted to do mechanical work. So Harman and I got together, made a business plan. Ki, okay, Paji, you take all the cosmetic stuff. Okay. I'll do all the mechanical stuff. Okay. and we combine both we have you know basically everything under one roof That's okay.